fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we got a new band on the channel here, folks, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have a band by the name of Red. How about that? Yes, indeed! Come on now! We have this request coming from Chris Fields, and Seth Vint. They both want to see me react to this song from Red called Breathe Into Me. Now, to the best of my knowledge, <laughs> I have not heard this song before. And I can say that pretty confidently because I've never heard of this band before. So uh, I'm pretty sure I've, had, I've never heard this song before. Now, as always, however, there is a chance I might have heard it by accident, in a movie, in a TV show, something like that. So, as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, oh, wait a minute, I recognize this, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, this was posted by The Band Red, so I guess that's their official channel. And this video has 11.9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Red, breathe into me, official video. I don't know how red are about blocking. I hope this doesn't get blocked. Block! I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. impressions uh musically like from an instrumentation standpoint i hate to use the word generic but there, there's a lot of bands that are imitating this sound they have this style of sound so instrumentally nothing is really standing out all that much having said that vocally this guy has got a really nice voice for this style of music very fitting um, it is a little thin, it's a little pinched, but it fits the context of the music. So you don't want, for a style of song like this, and a style of music like this, you don't want singing, you, you don't want somebody who can sing, you know, full chest, open throat, you know, power projection, like, Chris Cornell is not going to work in this band, I'm sorry, he's, he's just, no, there's no way Chris Cornell would work in a band like this. Absolutely not. Um, you know, say, someone, um, I know this is really fetching, but, you know, this is really taking a stretch, but someone like Beyonce, who has that type of a open throat, uh, really strong chest voice, 
not going to work in a band like this. You're going to want someone that does have that pitch. Someone that does have a little bit of a thinner voice. But while being thin and while being pinched, very accurate, great range, great diction, clear, clean vocals. So it's working. It's definitely working for me. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. about to kick back out of there all right um it's got a good pulse it's got a good tempo um it's got a good feel i mean it, nothing that really stands out like, like i said i i really don't like using the word generic but it, it doesn't sound really any different from a lot of other bands out there what they're doing um From a sonic standpoint, from a like the guitar tones, everybody uses it. Uh, you know the the drums. Everybody plays that style, that that you know that that type of uh, drum pattern. Uh, using the samples, using the uh, the filters and stuff like that. A lot of bands are doing it. So I I, I really don't want to use the word generic, but I mean I I, I kind of have to because it's. It doesn't sound special. It doesn't sound different, I, except in the vocals. Now, the vocals are where the difference are, is happening. That's that's what's making this band stand out. The vocals, I, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that this guy sounds like. So, so far, so good. You know, I, I'm, I'm not... I'm not hating this. I, I'm. I, I don't want. I want to be very clear about that. I'm not hating this. I'm actually. I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, but I, I'm. You're, I mean, I'm always looking for bands that you know sound different. You know, and I keep telling. I keep. I keep hearing these comments. You know, Red's a band you gotta check out, and you know, you need to check these guys out. They're totally different, and no, they're not. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're not. I mean, they are. They're doing what they're doing, and that's great, but different mm, vocally maybe but instrumentally not really all right anyway let's keep going here let's let's we got about a minute let's finish this out Yeah, I mean it. It was good. It was good. I, 
I have some thoughts, obviously. Uh, I'll see you in the review. Uh, but I, I do have some thoughts. I'll, I'll share them with you. I promise. Don't worry. Well, there you go. That was Red with Breathe Into Me. Uh, this was a request from Chris Fields and Seth Vint. Okay. For all the new Red fans out there who have never been to this channel, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people who have never seen this channel before. They just saw, oh, someone's reacting to my favorite band, Red. I need to go check it out. Hey, first of all, welcome to the channel, okay? Secondly, I do give a score. Now, I need everybody to understand something because so often I'll give a score and people will jump on me because they think it's a bad score. And it's not. So... Let me break it down to you. Break I score on a scale of one to ten. Now, ten I never really give. It tends like an honorary men. It's like an honorary thing, like posthumously or something like that. Ten is you're only way you could really get a ten is if you're dead or if you know you do something amazing. Like I, I did a couple of reactions for uh, for a, for a cause for uh, for a uh, for a uh, charity cause. I gave that a ten. It was for a good cause, so. But 99% of the time, I don't give 10s. So, anyway, but I do give 10s on a very rare occasion. So, on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, what that means is, <laughs> I know everybody equates, like, grades to, like, grade school. So, like, an A is, like, 90% to 100. And a B is 80%. C is so far. And an F is, like, 50% and above. No, 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 no. That's not how this works, okay? Midline is okay. So, anything above a Five. If you're getting a 5.0 or higher, you're you're okay. You're doing good. So okay, pretty good, really good, great, or amazing. Okay, that's that's what that is. Now, if you're under five, like 4.3 you know, or 2.7 or heaven forbid the dreaded 0.1, you know, if you're in that category, that, that's pretty bad, or it's really bad, or it's horrible, or it's a travesty. You know, that's where it cuts off. So. Just to let all the new viewers who are Red fans know that this is how the scoring system works, okay? So when I give the score, don't be sitting there going, that's a terrible score. No, no it's not. It's actually, you know, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.3. Yep, 7.3. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? First of all, 7.3, what is that? It's a really good score. If you're not sure, all the new Red fans out there, take a look down below in the description at my scoring chart, okay? 7.0 is the bottom threshold for really good. So this is actually 0.3 higher than really good. So it's a really good job. It's a really good song. Um, Nothing bad. I, I didn't hear anything bad. Um, I didn't hear anything great either, except the vocals. I'll get to the vocals at the end. Let's start with songwriting, okay? Songwriting. Um, it had a great feel. It had a great groove. It had a good pulse. Uh, there was definitely life in the song. It, 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 it got me bopping and my head was bopping. Yeah, I, I was grooving to it. I was, okay? So, they did a good job from the songwriting standpoint, it, from a beat, uh, from a from a uh, rhythmic feel, uh, tempo, all good. Guitar tone, very similar to what a lot of other bands do. Uh, it doesn't really stand out, and I wasn't terribly impressed with what the guitar players did. Uh, there was no soloing. Uh, I mean, they were just playing chords, and that's okay. Look. You don't have to have guitar solos in every single song for it to be for it to be amazing. You don't. You don't. Um, would have been nice to see what they can do, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Bass. I could kind of hear it. Kind of. Not really, but sort of. Uh, as far as the chordal structure of the song, it made sense. I mean, everything they did was... Like I, I could I could almost anticipate where the song was gonna go. Like I could almost guess where they were gonna move with, with their chordal changes. Uh again, I don't like using the word generic, but it, it kinda was. If we're being look, if we're being a hundred percent honest here, which I am, it it did sound kind of generic. There's a lot of other bands out there that sound like this. Now, does that make it bad? Absolutely not. I, I just I'm looking for things that 
help the band stand out, okay? So far, across the board, nothing really is making this band stand out until we get to the vocals. Now, vocally, this guy's voice, really good, really good. Uh, it really fits the style of music, and in particular, this song. Um, it is a little pinched, like I said before, it's a little thin, but you don't want someone with a full open throat singing a song like this. It won't fit. It's like putting a ballerina tutu on uh, a linebacker. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna make sense. But you take someone with this guy's voice, with great range, good clarity, great diction, great vowel formation, uh, a clear understanding of... Uh, not so much dynamic control, but definitely uh, accents, um, phrasing, very important. Uh, and with his tone, it fits really well, actually. And it, I, I think the vocals were the highlight of the song. At least for me, it was. Okay, I don't, I know everyone's gonna have their difference of opinion on what made the song really good, but for me personally, it was the vocals that really kind of helped make this song stand out. So. That's why it's getting the 7.3. Like I said, did it blow my mind? No, it didn't blow my mind. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I did enjoy it. Would I ever listen to this again? Sure, absolutely. If this was to come across, you know, my, my plate and it, it gets played, I wouldn't change the channel. I wouldn't go looking for something else to listen to. I would I wouldn't sit and I would enjoy the song again. Is this something I would ever go looking for? Would I add this to one of my playlists? Maybe driving, maybe my driving to Vegas playlist. Th this might make it on there because those those drives are long, you know, four and a half to five hour drives depending on traffic. But uh, I I can see myself putting this on my driving to Vegas playlist. Sure, sure. I, I would I would listen to this in passing absolutely. So seven point three final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you didn't enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it will keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.